Automation movements are now displayed in real time, providing instant visual feedback. In addition, the new A icons flash dynamically, confirming automation is actively in progress. As usual, the global read-write buttons must be enabled for any read-write automation mode to work. 13.5 offers four distinct automation modes, and these can be set from either the A icon or the Actions panel. Each mode is represented by a different color, making it easy to identify which mode a given track is in. These automation buttons will gray out if the global buttons are not enabled. Here's a quick breakdown. This mode plays back existing automation data without recording new adjustments. To activate, ensure the global read setting is enabled. Automation is written only while a parameter is actively being modified. Once adjustments stop, any existing automation remains unchanged, making it ideal for subtle refinements. When engaged, automation is recorded when the parameter is modified, but unlike touch mode, it continues writing at the last set level, even after adjustments stop. This behavior is most similar to the default automation mode in Waveform 13 and earlier. This mode overwrites all automation data at the current value or movement, replacing any previous curves. Due to its permanent nature, careful use is advised to prevent unintended erasures. Waveform 13.5 introduces several improvements to automation curve handling, providing greater precision in shaping automation movements. Curves can now be quickly enabled or disabled via the Actions panel. Simply select a curve and use the toggle option to bypass automation, causing the curve to gray out. If automation is recorded in touch or latch modes, the curve will automatically re-enable, ensuring seamless workflow adjustments. Easily scale or skew automation curves within any range. Select the desired curve and adjust the handles to modify its shape. Whether raising or lowering points simultaneously, or completely warping a curve for creative effects. Automation shapes can now be quickly added to a selection via a right-click menu. Choose from a variety of preset shapes and customize them to fit your precise automation needs, offering a streamlined approach to complex modulation. Tracks now dynamically display the active or most recently adjusted parameter directly on the audio, folder, submix or master track. As adjustments are made, the displayed parameter updates providing real-time visibility. For users who prefer to maintain focus on a specific curve, there is an option to lock the parameter to the track. Simply click the pin button to ensure the selected automation curve remains visible. Additionally, users can use the current active parameter to a new dedicated automation track via the menu option. This feature allows for multiple parameters to be efficiently added through drop-down selection.